Hello and welcome. I am Al from Z Panel Community, and today I'm going to show you how to install Z Panel X on VMware EXSI 5. Installing VMware is quite simple and fast. Uh, the specification of my server is an Intel i5 with 16 gig of RAM and two hard disk. One is one terabyte, the other one is two terabytes. The first thing you want to do is download the file from uh, the forum. Once you have downloaded, you need to uh, start your VMware. I'm going to log in from uh, the actual client VMware with my uh, login root and my password. Once logged in, I will start to create the virtual server. The first thing I'm going to do is try to uh, download the latest version 6.2 from the CentOS website. I'm going to choose one of the mirror lists. I'm going to choose the first one on list. And you will find on 6.2 ISO 64 bit there. And there we go, this is the latest one 6.2 64 bit minimal installation. Once you download it, you need to upload your VMware. To download it, quite simple, go to configuration, storage, choose the hard disk you want to upload it to, right click, browse it. I have already downloaded it anyway, you can find it here. But if you want to uh, upload it, just click there and upload the file. Once uploaded, you'll start to create the virtual machine. I usually choose typical. I'll write the name of the actual server. Choose the disk you want to install it to. Choose the OS, in this case CentOS 64 bit. The network, how many network you want in it. The size of your hard disk. I'm going to choose 80 gigabytes. Review the entire list and next. Once created, click on your server just created and console and start the server now don't forget you need to attach the ISO you just loaded to the server so you can have uh, start up from the actual ISO but you don't forget to choose the actual directory when you uploaded the actual ISO Click OK. I'll make you sure that has been loaded OK. And let's start with the installation of CentOS. Uh, CentOS 6.2 is quite 
easy to install. I'm going to skip the test here to make it faster. Logically, I'm not going to use this as a real uh, server. I'm just uh, installing just to show you. Within the console, if you want a full screen, all you need to do is just press Control Add and Enter, as I just did. So you will have a full screen. I will choose English, United Kingdom, for my case, logically you use your own country. For this scenario, I'm going to use the basic storage devices. If you want more, you know, different things you want to attach to a NAS or something else, you choose specialized storage devices. For more information, uh, all you need to do is just go to a VMware website and have a look there. I'm going to choose the name for the uh, for the server. In this case, I'm going to choose ZP, uh, ZPX01 and the domain name ZPanelHosting.tk. Once you've done that, uh, just click next. Oh, actually, configure the network now to make sure everything is fine. Usually, everything's alright, but uh, double, just to double check, uh, I'll, don't forget to check connect automatically. I'm using the HCP. And again, you can use a static IP if you wanted to. Uh, my router likes DHCP, so I can actually attach to a public IP. But if I put a static IP, my router will not let me do it. There. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I'll click next. Choose your parts of the world where you, you're from. In this case, for me, I'm going to choose London. It's quite hard to uh, to move this one without a mouse. I'm using the keypad from the uh, my laptop. So next, I'm going to choose the root password. I'm going to use just a simple password there, uh, so it's very weak. If you're logically going to deploy your own server, make sure you got a pretty good and strong password. In this case, I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to use all the space available, all the 80 gig that I have uh, um, chosen to uh, to have in my virtual server. And if you want to encrypt, that's up to you. You want it, whatever you want to do. As I said in this scenario. It's just for the test. And now we start the actual installation of CentOS. And really, this is all I said. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be uh, posted a couple of times by me. Otherwise, the actual video will be like much longer where it is. Don't forget for any questions, uh, just come and join us on our forums. Uh, the address is forums.zpanelcp.com. I have disabled the actual uh, comments on YouTube, but if you want to comment, if you want to say anything about it, if you want to know anything else, just log in on our zpanelx, zpanelcp.com forums. So you were, you know where you can actually post any comment you want. The installation is nearly done.
when I set the job done, I'm going to click reboot. Once reboot, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the configuration of of the VMware. Logically, you can choose to have more memory, more than one processor. That's up to you how you want to configure your server. Uh, to make a modification on the actual server, you need to logically stop the server. Otherwise, you can only view it. Okay, that's been loaded up. All right. Um, this is the events. The people can actually uh, log in. The performance. All the data is here anyway. It's up to you how you want to do it. As you can see here, is there all the details, the CPU and the memory. Uh, if you edit here, you can only view the information, but you cannot change it. To make any changes, you need to stop the server. I'm going to stop the server now. Go back and I press edit again. As you can see now, everything is editable and you can choose anything you want. From more memory, less memory, more than one CPU will cause making changes to your network uh, to drive space if you want to go over 80 gig that's all up to you thank you very much again and I will just remind you this is part one I'll see you on part two on how to install Z Panel X on CentOS bye